family of a 15 year old killed during a school shooting in Richfield is speaking out after one of the two men charged with his killing is acquitted of the most serious charge leveled against him. Alfredo Solis was found guilty of assault, but not murder. And as Reg Chapman reports, Rice's family feels betrayed by the judicial system. Pictures of Jamari Rice fill every room in the family home. It just, he would have been right here with us. It's just yeah. the constant thoughts of that, like the holidays, you know, yeah, he would have been well, right here. Christmas, well, it was just really... He didn't come into the new year with us. Their grief apparent when they speak about the young man who had big dreams. He's not coming home from school. He's not coming in. To, hey, TT, what's up? Coming in. Hey, mom. Because he called our mom. Jamari's aunt and the grandmother who had custody of him and raised him are struggling. This is a lot. Like I thought uh, once he was gone, you know, going to the school, he would be back. And by 12 o'clock, I heard that he was gone. In February of last year, a week after Jamari transferred to South Education Center in Richfield, tragedy struck. Witnesses told police it appeared a fight was about to start until a gun was pulled and shots rang out. Jamari was killed, two other students injured. Days later, Alfredo Solis and Fernando Alvarez were arrested and charged with Jamari's murder. First to go on trial, Solis was acquitted on the murder charge, but found guilty of assault and sentenced to three years behind bars. Solis, you are a very lucky man. I suggest that you take that luck and run with it for the rest of your life. We're just disappointed um, in the judicial system and here in Minnesota. We just feel like um, we were failed and somebody needs to be held accountable here. This didn't happen the way we thought it was going to happen. It was just a big disappointment. For now, they hold on to hope. Now we have the next one coming up <clears throat> and we just want justice. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. Solis has already served half his sentence and could be a free man in less than two years. Alvarez's trial has been pushed back to next month.